All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, Mark Young. Well, like the first off and foremost, give all praises on the glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash, double line city elders and apostles of the great millstone to rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yahweh from the great millstone, only Charles Louisiana camp coming back again with another brief lesson, and as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? And, uh, you know, through spirit, just want to go into a topic. And uh, Lord, will I title this one uh, a hey, approaching that hour? And uh, ultimately, the, the the topic is gonna be um, prophecy. All right, we're in that at the time to where where prophecy is being fulfilled. You know, which it it has since you know Yahweh Bashim Yahshai had uh, declared it for the the time that w it was appointed. But right now, you see the main uh, uh, prophecies are, are being pushed right now. You know, that's ultimately gonna lead us up out of here and lead us. You know, uh, first and foremost to the destruction of America. All right. So without further ado, you know, I'll just jump into it. You know, and Lord willing to be edified to the elect. All right. Because what the men of the Lord are ultimately going to be prophesying right now. All right. The men of the Lord are going to be prophesying, you know, and uh, uh, lining up things according that was uh, what foretold by, by where the scriptures, man. All right. So real quick, let me get that. This is a uh, revelation. This is Revelation chapter 19. Revelation 19 and verse 10. It says, uh. And, and I fell at his feet to worship him. I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren. So the, the, the Lord's brothers, right? The Lord's brothers are ultimately going to be a, a prophesying. Okay? Let's see who the Lord's brothers are real quick. And I'll jump right back. All right? This is Romans chapter 9. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, right? My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, who are Israelites to whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. You see? Then it goes on to further show uh, uh, whom the uh, uh, what? Let me see. Whose are the fathers and whom, uh, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, right? Who is all over because where well, we have been scattered. Okay, it says Yahweh Shimei Shai, blessed be forever. Shalom, my. <laughs> all right, so like it. All right, so um, jumping back. This is Revelations, uh, chapter nineteen and verse ten. It says, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You see? Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see? So, in order to have uh, the testimony or have that light of Yahweh Shai within you, right? It's going to be proclaimed by wherever you were uh, uh, prophesying. Okay? And ultimately walk in the same way Yahweh Shai did when he was on the, uh, the earth, man. All right, real quick. So back that up. This is this is uh, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony. All right? If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right? If they're not prophesying and telling you the, the same thing the apostles uh, have ultimately declared and proclaimed throughout the spirit. Uh, what? The RFID chip, man. All right? Which is the MOTB. All right, the great Karagma. You, you see, they're not uh, uh, telling you uh, the prophecy about uh, what World World War uh, Three. All right, the Lord said, "What? Uh, it coming quickly, man. You see, line it up with prophecy, line it up with the scriptures, and let it be known what two hundred million uh, warheads are gonna hit this place, man. All right, Russia. Hey, uh, Russia is gonna be brought back into that that old uh, Soviet Union mindset. All right." sparing none see so that's ultimately what we're supposed to be doing in these towns man prophesying you know before it, uh they ultimately come to pass man and that's what uh, a prophet is you know a prophet is uh one who's to say something before it happens all right real quick this is um this is uh this is second edges chapter 15 and i'll start at the top verse one it says behold Speak thou in the ears of prophet. Yeah, speak. Behold, <laughs> speak thou in the ears of my people. Who are the lost people? The Israelites. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. All right, 
It says, because what? Uh, and we're ultimately subject to doing these things because as it speaks about in uh, uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, man, you know, uh, uh, what the truth shall be preached throughout the four winds and then shall the end come. You know, so when the Lord makes their return, no one is going to be able to say they haven't been told. They haven't been warned. All right. It says, speak, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth. You see, I will put in thy mouth. And why is that? Let me get it real quick. This is the book. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah. You know, the Lord put his his uh, words in our mouth. OK. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter one. Uh, verse five, it says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb. I sanctified thee, meaning to what set us apart. OK, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, this is uh, Jeremiah speaking, Ah, Lord, Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahshah said, said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over kingdoms to root out, to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, and to build, and to plant. Right? And this is what the men of the Lord are doing today, man. The same thing, man. All right? We're, we're pulling down the strongholds of America by way of what? Prophesying. Okay? prophesying saying it before let me get that real quick saying it before it happens man all right because you you can't say that these things are, are, are not happening which goes to show you that what uh the words of yahweh bashim yashai are faithful and true all right this is habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak now we're in the uh end all right we are definitely in the end, all right? And it's speaking. You can't stop prophecy, all right? It says, uh, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. It shall not lie. Why? Because these words are faithful and true. Real quick, back to, um, yep, 2nd Edges uh, 15 and 2. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. They're going to happen. The, the, the Lord's words are sure, okay? Nothing can stop the word of Yahweh by Shimei al all right? It says, and not lie, uh, back in Habakkuk 2 and 3, all right, the latter part, it says, and, uh, and, uh, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, right? Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right? And why won't it tarry, man? Because it's faithful and true, man. Yahweh by Shimei al has set it up, you know, for a specific time to happen, you know, throughout the earth, man, and, and that time is now, all right? That time is now, and there's no uh, uh, turning it back, all right? This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 11. It says, so shall my word go, okay? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish. You know what? Let me read up a little bit. Salaki. Verse 10, all right? It says, for as the rain cometh down, and snow from heaven, and return not thither, but water the earth. And make it bring forth a bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of out of my mouth, right? And we understand that what uh, the Lord's mouth is uh, the prophets, okay? The Lord's mouth is the prophets. It says, so, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. All right. And that's speaking of men. You know, those trees are men, man. All right. Once you, know, you receive the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your Hashem, you prophesied. And then what? You see these things happen, man. You know, that's why it says what uh, the prophet shall rejoice, man. All right. But ye shall be angry. You shall be uh, filled with what? Anguish. Okay? 
Because a lot of you people have this they, uh, greatly despised Yahweh Bashim Yahweh saying, man. You know, the prophecies saying that, uh, oh, this wasn't the, uh, the, 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 the chip, you know. Oh, this never wasn't going to happen, right? But that goes to show you that what these uh, uh, non-believers, all right, are, are still here today, man. Okay? This is the uh, book of 2 Peter. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and verse uh, Salakia. 2 Peter 2. Let's see. Uh, just bear with me, Akim. Uh, let me see. Two. Two. Okay. Yep. Kai, Kai. All right. This is the uh book of Second Peter, chapter one. And uh, I'll start at, yep, verse 17. All right, it says, For he received from the Most High the Father honor and glory. Speaking of Yahweh Shai, it says, When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice came, and this voice which came from heaven, we heard, right? As it speaks about in, uh, is it uh, the John the 17th chapter? You know, Yahweh Shah said, uh, all, all my, all thy words that I have uh, made manifested to me, I have made manifested unto them. You know, speaking of the elect, Lord willing, you know, we give that number. But we have heard of that voice. It says, when we were with him, because it tells us in what, uh, Matthew 10, you know, my, uh, my sheep hear my voice and they do follow me. Okay. It says, uh, let's see. Okay, Kyle. Verse 18. It says, And this voice which came from heaven, we heard. When we were with when we were with him in the holy mount, we also have a more sure word of prophecy. We have a sure word of prophecy. Why? Because uh the faith that Yahweh Shimei has uh, uh given us has ultimately allowed us to understand that what we believe in it, what we're believing in is true. All right. It tells us that in Hebrews 11 and 6, well, without faith, it's impossible to please your Yahweh Shem Yahshah, okay? And how do we please the Lord? We would uh, keep his uh, law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we go out on the highways and hedges. We feed the flock, right? We put up on the supplements that's needful of us to ultimately what? Be in, in a, a spirit of uh, uh, pleasing your Yahweh Shem Yahshah so that we can be found blameless and without spot, okay? Verse 19 it says we have a sure a we also we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed right as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day of dawn and the day star arise in your hearts or in your minds it says knowing this first that no prophecy of of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men, right? Men of Yahweh Hashem Shai. It says, men of the Lord, right? But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man. All right? In full belief. In full belief, knowing that these things will come to pass. Okay? It's nothing that's ultimately going to stop the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right? So by knowing these things, we're ultimately set up to prophesy and, and let it be known what's going to be going on in these last days, man. And the, or the main centerpiece right now, which I'm about to get, man. This is uh, uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, verse 16. All right. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma or a, or a great incision. All right. In their right hand or their foreheads. That no man might buy or sell, save he that have the karagma, all right, or that chip, okay? It says, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, you see? 
And when it goes down, I'll let you know with a 666, man. All right? You giving a, a power to this beast. You know, this system. America. Okay? This is the main piece of prophecy. You know, which we have, uh, 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 what, this one and World War Three, man. And they're both on the brink right now. All right? They're both uh, reaching this uh, uh, highest peak, man. Soon it's going to be a, what, another lockdown, man. And what, Esau Edom is going to come down real quick. This is Revelations chapter 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens. This, this is all prophecy. All right? This is all prophecy, man. This is what uh, 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 the men of the Lord are ultimately going to be doing and proclaiming right now. You know, which we have uh, uh, been proclaiming, you know. First and foremost, starting with the elders, the elder apostle Tahor, you know, on down, man. Okay? Why? Because well, we're all uh, moving in the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, man. All right? Giving the sure words of prophecy. And, and, and uh, you can see that it's happening, man. All right? It says, uh, Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth of the, and of the sea, for the devil, which is Esau, Edom, all right, the physical counterpart, is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time, man. And what this devil wants is power, all right? He wants power. He wants full control, all right? It speaks about him with Isaiah, the 14th chapter. You know, that's what he wants. You know, he said it's uh, Ness and uh, uh, thrown above the stars, man. He says that what he is the most high, <laughs> all right? But we all know that's a lie. We know that that's a lie, man, you know? Because what we, we, we understand that uh, the, time is, the, the time is near, all right? It's here, okay? As it speaks about in uh, what, uh, Romans the 13th chapter, man, and knowing the, the time, right? Salvation is nearer than we believe. Now is the what, time to awake, you know? Now is the time to awake. You don't want to wait till the last minute to uh, try to uh, accept the truth and the Lord not be dealing with you, you know? See, the time is coming when they're soon to uh, usher in this uh, 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 RFID chip, man. All right? Which is the great Karagma. All right? They're going to usher this in. And when you can't uh, uh, buy food, all right? When you uh, the great famine comes, that's another thing, you know? The Lord said he was going to break the staff of the bread in the earth, man. You know? What are you going to do then? Because, well, you despise the uh, the words of Yahweh Shimei al you know? You you despise the sayings from the prophets, okay? The Lord hand was stretched out, and what you 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 refused it, okay? You sent it away. You you had all the answers, you know. Let me get that. Cause this is what's gonna happen to a lot of a lot of these people, man. That that basically scoff, all right? That uh uh tried to mock y'all by Shimei Shah. The Lord the Lord can't be mocked, man. At the end of the day, his his word. You know, uh, his uh, uh, oracles and things which he set up from the beginnings of time is going to stand. All right. This is Proverbs chapter one. And uh, verse 24, straight to the point, it says, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stressed out my hand. See, the Lord called a four time. Right. The Lord called a four time. He gave you those warnings. All right. He gave you those warnings before what he had this chip be imp uh, uh, implemented. All right. I'll push to the, uh, uh, the forefront. All right. He gave you these warnings before you saw the uh, wars and rumors of war. You see? It says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set naught at all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish shall come upon you. You see? Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, man. You see? And they're not gonna they're not gonna find y'all by Shimei Shah because the Lord is ultimately gonna what? Take the prophets. We're going for the highways, man, the hedges. You see? And then what is what does it say in uh, Ezekiel 33, man? Then shall they know that what? A prophet had been among them. You see? They're gonna know. You know, a lot is gonna come uh, when it's ultimately too late, man. You know? But as for, oh, uh, hey, man, a sincere Akim that's, you know, throughout the four winds, hey, brothers, continue to prophesy. You know, we can clearly see that what Yahweh Bashim Shah is bringing an end to this place, man. All right. This is our last captivity. It tells us that in Lamentations, the fourth chapter, you know, then shall what? 
the Lord turn uh, the captivity of Israel, man. You see? And bring us back to, you know, our land and we shall what, no more be driven away from it. You know? So these are the things that we must continue to uh, prophesy, man. All right? Let it be known the things that's going to happen, you know, before they do. All right? To give that warning. That way that what? We don't have blood upon our hands. You see? So with that, man, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's real evident, man. You can't say, hey, man, no one can say that uh, the prophecy of, Yah of Yahweh Bashim Yashai are not being fulfilled, man. You know, because they are. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Wadash, Double Lancey, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Ruel, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.